Hey guys, we're looking at our little acolytes here sitting in a rowboat. Clearly they got themselves into trouble, so we have a trireme that comes along and they decide to come on board. And you're going to love what I'm going to show you today. They are now mounting the trireme, as you can see. And here they're on this prefab boat. They're moving around on it. They're even navigating to like the lower deck. So the whole prefab works, um, but essentially they are attached to it. And this is not using the old vehicle. It's not using mount up. It's actually a new module that I'm going to show you guys today called Rideable. And you can see it's pretty good. Our acolytes are staying pretty well stuck to that, to that tile essentially of the boat. So now they want to upgrade again and the frigate pulls up to them. And we're gonna we're gonna change the the ram on the front of this trireme, and our acolytes are now gonna ram this frigate, and they're gonna board that. So this tutorial today is gonna be about writable, the different things that you can do with it. I'll show you the main things here. We're unmounting from the trireme, and we're mounting to the frigate itself. I'll explain the hotkeys and the options that are available to you. And uh, then we're going to talk about also like how to, how to mount other uh, tokens and things like that. Um, and then I'll, I'll give you a couple other things maybe that will give you some inspiration. But here we are navigating inside of the frigate. So it's really nice. This is probably the best implementation of a, a vehicle type module that I've seen. And here we've got the airship now. These guys have really upgraded at this point. They've unattached from the frigate. They're now attaching to the airship. And if you guys haven't seen this before, um, this is a macro from mass edit that all of a sudden our airship is now airborne. We can get, get rid of our other, our other vehicles. And look how responsive it is. I mean, this is great. Um, you can really have great battles. It's very performant. And I'm just excited to finally have a, a vehicle type module that is easy to use. So with that, let's jump into the tutorial. So first of all, you have uh, settings for this module. So if you go into your settings and you go into writable, you can see what we have here. And I actually had to click a lot of these on. So uh, you can have things be writable by default. Tiles can be mounted. You have to be on V11 for tiles to work. And I'm on a V11 world here. Um, allow mounting on enter. I had to check on if you use tagger. I won't show that in this tutorial, but it does have tagger support. You can turn that on. Writing height it has to be evidently over zero, but you can overwrite a lot of these when you actually build the tiles or whatever's going to be mounted. Um, so I recommend you come in here. You can also have things have to be within a certain uh, distance in order to be mounted. So in this case, the default heading is 15. I had to keep this checked on for tiles to work, the border to border distance. Uh, number of riders, you can keep it negative one. Again, you can override that. Um, we're going to want to link rotation. We're going to uh, probably want to allow familiars to, to ride. And then I had to set some of these as well. Um, you can allow grappling and um, whether you want pre uh, to prevent enemies from riding a particular mount. Um, you can adjust the rider size. You can make the rider smaller, for example. And then um, I adjusted these again. These I think you can adjust on a on a vehicle by vehicle basis. But then the client settings, especially with the message pop ups, I found those to be really important. Those were off by default. I turned them on. They'll give you feedback as to whether you have successfully mounted. Um, and I think if there's some, I think there's some error handling in there as well. So uh, anyway, feel free to replicate what I've got here. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions uh, for either myself or the developer, and uh, we'll see if we can answer them. Okay, so let's jump into an, an actual tile. In this case, I'm looking at this new writable tab that's opened up in this tile. I want this tile to be uh, open to being writable. I gave it the title airship. That's going to be important with some of the scrolling text. And um, I don't want it to mount on enter. 
the reality is the reason I turn this off is because these prefabs have control tokens and those control tokens can accidentally mount their own uh, tile. But I believe by the time you see this, the developers already created an option to uh, account for control tokens. So by the time you're watching this, you might be able to make it uh, mount on enter, which is super easy. Uh, it's already pretty easy. Um, I notice I set the the custom writing height to zero because I don't want to change the height of the tokens when they get on the on board with this um, this thing, and I do want the writers to be able to move freely once they are attached. I want them to be able to run around the deck of the ship. In this case, I'm not going to be grappling the ship, so I'm going to uh, go ahead and leave that off. Spawning writers is something I haven't played around with, but I'll let you guys ask questions or talk about it. Notice that there is a macro compendium that comes with this. There's these four macros to mount and unmount, to grapple, and to do familiar writing. Feel free to drag these into your macro bar. It's one way to engage the system. I'm just going to use the hotkeys in this case. Um, but just realize that there is a set of macros that come with this that are optional to use. Let's grab our acolytes. We'll bring them onto the deck of the ship. And then all I need to do is hover over the deck, and I'll press M to mount or N to dismount. So they're right next to each other on the keyboard and it makes it really easy. You just, again, hold down, uh, press M to, to mount and to unmount. Um, this will be even more important when you're writing things like tokens and stuff like that. But again, uh, you probably could get by with just having them mount upon entrance to, uh, to the tile. So you can see as we're moving it around, they're following, they're rotating, I mean, this is probably as good and in, in performant as I've ever seen uh, vehicles work. So pretty happy with it. Look, as I drag it around, they snap instantly to the new position. That was always a problem with other vehicle solutions is you had to wait for the tokens to kind of catch up. This feels pretty real time. So really good job for the developer, uh, which I'll link to in uh, the video description. Okay, we're looking at a new scene. This is a scene in an upcoming release coming up here in a couple of weeks. And I dropped in a horse token. I believe this is a Forgotten Adventures token. And I can make this horse writable, right? So I make it writable. I'm going to do mount on enter in this case. And I just want to limit it to one rider. Um, we'll leave it at a, just a regular uh, height that's set in the settings. And yeah, let's see what happens now. So we'll drag our guy onto our horse and he automatically mounts it. Notice that I am using um, auto rotation. I think it's called, I'll link to it in the description. It's a module that automatically rotates. But look at this, this is great. I'm riding this horse around and my rider and my horse are both rotating around. Again, it's another module to do that. Now I am pressing N to dismount. I'm automatically mounting the horse because I have it set to automatically do that. The other way you do is you can target the token that you want to mount and then just press the M key and that will mount that token, assuming you're within the acceptable distance. So again, you can target, you can just enter it if you have it set that way. Notice it did set my token to 10 feet. So if I want to correct that, I'll press N to unmount over here to writable uh, tab and I'll set my custom token height to five feet and set. So now my tokens are going to sit five feet above the horse. And there you go. That's how you do it. So that is the basics of this tutorial. This is a relatively fast one. Just reminding you what you can do with these things. Somebody will be smart enough to now link this mass edit um, control to the direction of the control token. And so, you know, here we're flying over these towns at night and and these are all great. This is all part of my uh, my Patreon. Everything you saw in this video, you can get on my Patreon. But uh, we'll be able to quickly, I think, I'm sure Zephyr will figure this out, how to make the, the, the vehicles actually turn and have the background turn with it, which will be super exciting. So if you guys like this, let me know in the comments if you want to see more of this or you have questions for developer. Remember, these are not static. This will change over time. So if your settings are different, um, just check out the comments. Otherwise, in the meantime, hope you guys have fun making your vehicles.